Hey everybody, I'm Simi. Thank you so much for joining us for this great Pink Shirt Day event. Uh, we're going to be having a wonderful chat today with Justin Preston. Hi, Justin. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Tell us about yourself. So my name is Justin. I started a global campaign called Rise Against Bullying in 2012. I decided to share my story in my, my high school where I was bullied. And I realized the impact it made my school. And from there, I ended up sharing my stories in other schools all across Canada on the impact that bullying has made in my life for being different. And I had to learn to embrace that and show others that you can be yourself. What happened when you did that? So when you were able to share that story and you saw that immediate impact, what happened for you when you felt that support? So when I first started sharing my story, the impact of support from people was overwhelming. This is when I knew that when I was receiving people's stories that they were going through the similar thing, that I realized that I needed to use my voice and be the voice for the voiceless because the response of people it was just outrageous. And that was nine years ago. And still to this day, my email with different stories all over of cries for help, um, it, it happens more often. And just knowing that having an opportunity like today by sharing my voice for anyone that's listening that might feel that they're alone or lost in this world that I once felt. Do you think it's gotten better though? Nine years, you said you still get those stories. Do you feel hopeful? I think that it's slowly becoming better. I don't think it's 100% better now, um, but I do know that there's more tools and resources out there that I'm able to find and pass on to young people or adults that are asking for information of guidance of help. So Justin, tell us all about Rise Against Bullying. How does that work? So Rise Against Bullying, like I said, I found it in 2012. From my story, I was able to have other people share their stories. And with starting Rise Against Bullying, I realized there was thousands and thousands of people that were walking into my life and I started creating a safe place for people, taking people that felt like they didn't belong and invited them into my life, into my story and my experiences so they are able to share theirs so they don't feel so alone in this world. That is so beautiful. That is so nice. Um, tell me about the Letters by Justin campaign. The Letters by Justin. I, I started wanting to reach out to the people that were writing to me. With me raising awareness with the LGBTQ plus community, mental health and bullying, I was getting outpour support from people that were reaching out and that needed some guidance and advice. And I did a little reach out of who would like a letter or a card from me. Um, so I can personally write inside that card to that person that was wanting one on how much I appreciated them and giving them reminders of it's going to get better. You know, life sometimes can seem so tough and we don't see the light and that there is light. And if I could try to be that beacon of light for those that feel so lost, from just one request, it ended up being thousands. Oh, and I started dedicating wow. my time and my days writing so many cards and letters, full pages um, to people all around the world. And again, replying and getting that response from people, it was just, very motivating and heartbreaking at the same time. Yeah. Um, so when I do letters by Justin, I make sure that it's personalized to the people that are reaching out to me. I make sure I'm looking at their first and last name, reading their story, responding to that story and making it personal. So that way I'm not only responding in the email, I'm actually personally writing a card because there are times even myself when I'm cleaning my house, we all have good and bad days because it's okay not to feel okay, but I stumble upon cards and stuff in my own house from people that are already and I stop and I read them and it's so rewarding because it, it's a reminder that you know you making a difference definitely makes an impact and sometimes you need that reminder to know that you're beautiful that you're worth it that's phenomenal now Pink Shirt Day of course is all about kind of continuing on that kind of work that you're doing there which is amazing do you have any advice for Justin people who when Pink Shirt Day comes along we don't want them to think it's just a day, right? We want it to motivate them to do something. What is that something that you think people could do? So that little something, like I just mentioned, it costs zero dollars to be kind. And I think a lot of us forget that. I mean, opening a door for somebody and saying, hey, you can go first. Saying something kind to somebody that you know, or maybe a stranger you don't know. A simple, hey, you're beautiful can go a very long way. We all have a smile and we sometimes have a huge story that we can hide behind that simple smile. We don't know what's going on in people's minds. And to be that upstander, 
um, an inspiration for others by just simply going out of your way, just to do something kind to brighten someone else's day because we don't know what people are personally going through. Upstander, I love that phrase. That's, I'm going to start using that. That's amazing. Justin, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm honestly so honored.